when you want the truth, and when you want the facts, you better watch no filter, because I got your back, ain't no ducking, ain't no dodging, ain't no scheming, ain't no hiding, cause I got that work, you wanna get this work, you wanna get this work, you about to get this work. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to No Filter News and Talk, and it's your girl, Ingrid. How you guys doing? How you guys feeling? I hope you are having a fantastic day, okay? And I want to send a big shout-out to all my subs out there. You already know I have the best subs in the whole wide world over here on this channel. So big shout-out to you guys. And if you have not, but you would like to be a part of the No Filter News and Talk family, all you have to do is like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, Put on your thinking cap and come on over. Because guess what? We will welcome you with open arms. But now let me just get into some things. Okay? Because I haven't talked about a, a lot of stuff. But I promise. I promise y'all. I'm going to keep bringing y'all these videos. And make sure you watch the videos. Make sure. I know a lot of you guys are here uh, because of. Uh, the information that I had on the Nipsey case, and it's still there. But you might, some of y'all might watch a video that's like one of the last ones that I done, and then you begin to comment. You have to go back to get the fullness, okay? You have to go back and watch some of the videos in the beginning, and then you'll understand where I am. Don't come in the tail end. That's like coming in the tail end of a conversation, and you don't even know what's going on. That's that's how y'all do when y'all comment and say, well, oh, I did. yeah, I don't want to hear all that. You know, my mouth is kind of smart. I clap back. I block. I delete. All that stuff. I have all them type of issues. I have, I have the block and delete issue. So make sure you guys, you know, get up to date on what's going on. That's why it's so important to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Okay. Now, where have I been? I have been, well, just a couple weeks. You know, I only spent a couple weeks out. I was on vacation for a couple of weeks. I went to Vegas. It was a family vacation on uh, in Vegas. That's where we went, okay? And I actually, I absolutely had a ball. It was much needed. That's what I needed to do. But one thing that I haven't done was, I haven't gave you guys an update. It's been almost two years after the passing of Nipsey Hussle. And I haven't gave you guys an update. Um, a lot of people in my comments and a lot of people ask me in my email, they say, would I change anything? Would I do anything different? You know, as far as some of the videos that I put out there, you know. And my question, my answer to that would be, no, I won't. I'm still on what I've been on. You know, I, I'm just still there. I'm still, and I, I'm thankful for the content that I was able to put out because I just didn't put out no BS. I put out what I really felt, what I really felt. And guess what? I still feel that way today. What do I mean? What am I talking about? I'm talking about a lot of the videos. I still stand on a lot of the points that I made. Pretty much everything. So, let me go back a little bit. While I was in Vegas, guess what? <laughs> I was minding my own business. I was on vacation. I was straight up chilling with my family and friends. I'm talking about we were just chilling, right? Right. But guess what? Guess who I saw? Some of Nipsey Crew members. <laughs> Mind my own business. Some of Nipsey Crew members. And so I began to lay back and just watch. I didn't make myself known because I didn't want them to, I didn't know how they felt about me, you know. And I know some of them watch my videos and they might feel like, oh, it is. She talked too much. I can't stand her. She's putting out wrong information. They might have wanted some smoke. Then I want all the smoke. So, ain't no hole in my blood. So, I'm just saying. I just kind of laid back. I just didn't want to make myself known. What, what was I supposed to go up and say? Hey, I'm no filter. Oh, that bitch. <laughs> you know, it probably 
I'm like, you know, so I saw the guy that I was absolutely that the one that I was talking to that I was inboxing back and forth. I know. Um, I don't know if a lot of you remember, but if you don't, it's fine. A few months ago, I told you guys that I inboxed one of Nipsey crew members and he responded back and I was going in on him. I was so upset. I was upset. And this was during my time um, doing research. That's why a lot of people, you got to understand the way I operate. I don't operate like other YouTubers. I mean, when I'm investigating something, when I'm really investigating something, I give it my all and I, I I begin to take on a lot of the emotions and the feelings that I had that that was dealing with this case and it was really a lot it wasn't a little bit it was a lot so at this particular it was on a Sunday and I don't know why Sundays just you know ever since it happened it just really began to drain me and so that day I inboxed him and I was like, why, where was you guys at? All y'all do is y'all post Nipsey 24 seven, but where was y'all at the day he was murdered? That's when I found out some interesting information. I found out that he worked there. He was supposed to been at work that Sunday and he did not go to work. And I asked him, how come you wasn't at work? He said, well, what you mean? How come I wasn't at work? I, 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 how come you wasn't at work, motherfucker? And he was like, um, he was like, I just didn't go. I just didn't go to work that day. See, that type of stuff right there, that, that, that gets to me. That bothers me. Here we are dealing with a multi-million dollar man at this point. With, and he's in his hood, okay? And we all know that the hoods don't really love nobody. He's in his hood unprotected. Why? He wasn't there. J-Rock wasn't there. Wasn't nobody there that could have protected Nipsey. Now, the only one that they showing that was possibly there that could have protected Nipsey was Cowboy. And now I said this in one of my videos, so don't come for me. Because I said this, and when I'm right, I'm right. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I said this. I said, maybe they only popped off is when Cowboy went in. It all popped off when Cowboy went in. Maybe they knew that he had Nipsey back. This is, y'all got to excuse this loud noise, but... Oh, it's a car going down the street. But anyway, um, yeah, I said, well, maybe the, the reason why they popped off is because they felt Cowboy was a mus was the muscle. And as soon as Cowboy went in, that's when everything escalated. That's when everything popped off. So we can look at it that way or we can look at it other ways. Cowboy went in and then the setup happened. You know, or I'm just telling y'all what I saw. So I begin to ask, oh boy, you know, I just didn't understand why nobody was there that could have protected Nipsey. And I was really frustrated. So for me to see him in Vegas, I was really shocked. <laughs> I was really shocked and I didn't make myself known. I just sat back and I just watched. And that's almost two years later months and months have passed i'm still asking the same question why the fuck excuse my french why you wasn't there how come you wasn't at work that day how come you didn't go to work that day nipsey was gonna be there he was in town how come you wasn't at work that day how come j rock wasn't at work that day who is ice okay who is ice who was the other bodyguard how come j rock wasn't at work that day. That's just, you know, people who could have protected him, people who could have fought back, people who could have shot back and not shot off and ran. Get it, Evan? But you see what I'm saying? That's, that's, those are the questions that I have. And now an update of how I feel, I still feel the same way. I'm still, I'm still pissed. And the more and more I talk about it, 
the more and more I think about it, I get pissed. I get pissed because I felt like nobody had his back that day. I, I Carrie is a snake. Have have Carrie been located? Have any have Carrie been found? Carrie is still a snake. I was I was the first one, probably on YouTube, the first one to tell you guys about Carrie, and my feelings have not changed. Carrie was the key. He was the key of the whole setup. And I'm going back to how I. I'm going back to what I initially thought. You know, I'm going back there and I'm still standing there. Where you find Carrie, you're going to find Big U. That's it, that's all. Uh, they on the interview. Why does Carrie keep calling me girl right there? So, do I feel like Big U was involved? Absolutely, because... You knew what was going on because of Carrie. See, Carrie was Big U's friend. That's his, he called him Cousin Carrie. So when you look for Big, when you look for Carrie, you're going to find Big U. And that's why I say in the back by the doors at Nipsey shop, the day it happened, people are blurred out. There are people in the back blurred out and why are they blurred out because they don't want to be known they don't want that to get out and i believe wholeheartedly 100 percent, that big u was back there by them doors i just believe that i'm not telling you this for clout i believe that see nipsey was a young buck he's small guy he little dude he didn't know carrie he didn't know Carrie, but they had one mutual friend. You got to look at Carrie's age and who's Carrie age that's around there. That's Big U. Nipsey probably, only only thing Nipsey heard was probably stories about Carrie. He didn't know Carrie. He heard stories about Carrie. We know that Carrie's story changed up several different times. And I don't understand why ain't nobody got him yet. Where he at? You know what I'm saying? Where, where he at? I'm just, I'm just trying to tell y'all. His story changed from the reason he was there, why he was there. His story kept changing. But who had his GoFundMe on a page? Big U. Where was the GoFundMe? The GoFundMe was on Big U's page. It was on his business page. The GoFundMe, and actually the GoFundMe might still be up there. So when Vlad TV did the interview, phone interview with Carrie, who else was on the phone? Big U. When you find Carrie, you're going to find Big U. I don't think that Carrie went too many places without Big U. And I damn sure don't believe he went to that shop without Big U. Why? Because Nipsey did not know Carrie. But they had one mutual person, one mutual person that tied them together, and that's Big U. I don't care. Now, this, this is a year. This is a year and some change. Almost two years later, and I'm telling y'all the real. But I, I'm going to, I'm going to, trust me, put your seatbelt on. Put your seatbelt on because we're going to talk about some things. I'm going to break down every last person that I felt had something to do with it. Why I felt they had something to do with it. I'm going to break them down. I'm going to break it all down. And I got tons of material that I had never posted. So just watch out. But make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. Peace.